Docked along the banks of the Bronx is a five-story barge used by the Department of Corrections to house inmates awaiting trial. The floating jail known as the boat was meant to be a temporary fix for the overcrowding of Rikers Island back in the 90s. Three decades later, the 800-bed lockup is set to close this week. The majority of the remaining inmates are to be transferred back to Rikers Island. It's good that the mayor, you know, the city is moving forward with closure on the boat, um, but, you know, transferring people from the boat to Rikers Island uh, is not a good solution and we need to make investments in communities and address the mental health crisis of half of the population that's, dealing, that's on Rikers Island because that transfer is just, you know, shifting people from the frying pan into the fire. The boat has been seen as a symbol of New York City's failure to reform its method of pretrial detention, but recently it's drawn attention for its victims. An inmate jumped from the boat to his death in 2022, and a year before that, 24-year-old Stefan Cadu died after contracting a treatable form of meningitis while in custody. He didn't go in there sick. The fact that they just, they just didn't care. There's nothing really to say other than that they didn't care. And it's, it wasn't their son, it wasn't their husband, it wasn't their child. So it's like, so what? Cadu's mom blames the conditions on the boat for her son's infection. She says a lack of oversight kept her son from getting medical care that would have prevented his death. I know in my heart, in my soul, that if they would have continued to take him to those doctor's visits after July 12th, the ones that he needed, the ones that I clearly see that on the medical papers, it says that, like, he denied it. He can't deny that because he doesn't have access to you guys. They just didn't take him. They just didn't take him, and if they would have took him, they would have caught it. The New York State Attorney General investigated Cadu's death, but said they could not confirm allegations of improper care. Once the closure of the boat is complete, Cadu's mom is planning a trip to see where her son spent the final year of his life. I am beyond pleased that that place is getting closed down when my son lost his life in the most horrific, torturing way. The city has declined to say what will happen to it. For now, the boat will remain in the custody of the Department of Corrections. Joseph Frederick, The Associated Press, New York.